So dear friends, we had taken up some questions on Venn diagrams earlier, one or two questions. So we just brush up the formula over there that if you have three circles, one, two, and three, in case we have three circles intersecting over here, N of A union B union C, which is the number of elements in at least one of them, all of them put together in either of them would be N of A plus N of B plus N of C minus N of A intersection B minus N of B intersection C minus N of A intersection C plus N of A intersection B intersection C. And if it is two circles, in such a case, we did that N of A union B in this case would be just N of A plus N of B minus n of a intersection b so these two formulae we need to apply now how we apply let's see let's take up these examples in a group of 20 children a drink tea so we can and but not coffee and 13 like tea the number of children drinking coffee but not tea is what so you have a situation like this you have tea you have coffee a drink tea but not coffee so this portion this much is eight only this much 13 like tea which means this whole thing is 13 so eight of them like only tea but not coffee and 13 like tea which means 13 minus 8 5 of them like both tea as well as coffee 5 like tea but they also like coffee 8 like only tea and in a group the number of children drinking coffee but not tea assuming that 13 and there are totally 20 children so that means this is not known we need to find out coffee but not tea and this total 8 plus 5 plus x is going to be 20 which means the number who drink only tea plus the number who drink only coffee plus the number who drink both all that total turns out to be 20 so x should be 7 so there are 7 people who drink coffee but not tea so yes we do have it that way then out of 20 members in a family 11 like to take tea and 14 like coffee assuming that each one likes at least one of the two drinks how many like both coffee and tea so this is a case wherein you have n of t is equal to 11 n of c is equal to 14 and n of c union t everybody drinks something or the other you need to find out n of c intersection t now n of c union t is nothing but n of c plus n of t minus n of c intersection you need to find this. So this will turn out to be 20 is equal to 11 plus 14. So N of C intersection T 11 plus 14. 25 minus 20 which is going to be 5. So 5 people like both tea and coffee. So we are using this particular formula over here. So we have 5 people liking both tea and coffee and yes it is 5. Okay. Now, in a group of 70 people, so there are 70 people involved here, 45 speak Hindi. So, we have 45 speaking Hindi and 33 speaking English. So, this is 45, this whole thing is 33 and 10 speak neither. So, this is 10 is outside. This, they speak neither Hindi nor English. That means number speaking either English or Hindi is going to be 70 minus 10 that is 60. So out of 70 if 10 speak neither Hindi nor English 60 of them 70 minus 10 60 is will speak either Hindi or English which obviously will be equal to n of h union e which is you, number of people speaking either Hindi or English or both. 
and n of h is 45 n of e is 33 and you are being asked to find both English so n of h intersection e is asked which is going to be as per formula we know n of h union e is n of h plus n of e minus n of h intersection e so n of h intersection e is n of h plus n of e minus n of h union e which is going to be 45 plus 33 minus 60 which is going to be 18 so 18 of them speak english as well as hindi so first since in the previous example, it was told that everybody belonged to either of the category. Here, there is a new clause that 10 of them belongs neither to H nor E. So, you have to subtract the 10 from the total number of candidates to get the number of candidates which belong to H union E. So, it turns out to be 18. And yes, we do have it as 18. Okay. <coughs> there are 40 students. 30 of them passed in English, 25 of them passed in maths, 15 of them passed in both. Assuming that every student has passed at least in one subject. So we have 30 of them. So this is English. And you have maths. 20, 15 of them passed in both. This is 15. And 30 of them passed in English. That is, this whole thing is 30. Now, you have been asked to find how many passed only in English. So, 30 of them includes even two types of people. The ones who pass in English alone plus the one who pass in English as well as maths. So, the number which passes only in English will be 30 minus 15 which is going to be 15. You don't even have to bother about because the requirement of the question is how many students passed in English only but not in math. So that is going to be 30, that is this whole thing, minus 15 which is 15. So it's going to be 15. Suppose it's asked how many passed in maths alone. Yes, it's going to be this 25 minus 15, only 5. Oh sorry, and only 10. 10 will pass in maths alone. Anyways, that's not the requirement of the question. The question is how many students passed in English only but not in maths. So, that will be the number who passed in English minus the number who passed in English as well as maths. And that will give you the ones who passed only in English. So, that will turn out to be 30 minus 15. That is 15. Yes, we do have it as 15. 